Hey everyone, Dolph Norgel here tonight. This is a quick video uh, and a shout out to Zeb, Zebedee Boss, the producer over at Destination Linux. However you know this guy, he's all over YouTube and the internet. Big Peppermint Linux fan and also a big MX Linux fan. Uh, in a recent episode of De Destination Linux, actually episode 50, Zeb complained that one of the things he didn't like about MX was that... Uh, the change ownership to root function, and, and that's in here, the change ownership to root function doesn't require a password. It, in fact, it does require a password, but MX is configured so that when you enter the root password the first time, you don't have to enter it again for a while. So it's possible to accidentally click this thing and change a file. Um, we actually looked at this during development. We kept it the same as it's been since MX 14 days for now. But I have been testing a solution, so I'm going to show you this solution, and it's easy to change. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going, we've got Thunar open here, and we're going to go up to Edit, and Configure Custom Actions, and you're going to scroll down to whatever you want to change. Now I have actually, on my system, I have changed ownership to root, ownership to user, and edit as root the same way. So it's always going to ask for my password. But let's show you ownership to root, because that's the biggie it was bothering people. And we click on the Edit key, and this is the command we want to add right here. Let me. Uh, so this is the default command: gksu ch own change ownership slash r root root whatever files you have selected. That's the default command. What we're going to add is this: gnome keyring daemon slash r slash d in a semicolon. So a lot of people don't realize this, but xfce in, in its command lines can actually run multiple commands on the same line if they're separated by a semicolon. So what this will do is this will actually flush the GNOME keyring daemon. So when you go to run this command, it will flush the daemon, restart it, and that root password is not saved anymore in, in the, in, to be used ever. So no matter, no matter what root function you use after this command's run, you have to enter the root password again. So I'll show you, I'll show you this in action. I'm going to show you with the edit as root function because I've got it set up the same way. Go into my work in progress folder, and I'm going to hit edit as root and you see it asks for the password okay fine so you can see it opens in genie because I got mine all kinds of edited alright so if I if, it, if I hadn't changed it if I did edit as root again it would not ask for the password the second time yeah, that would be the default MX configuration the way I have it configured right now with that gnome keyring daemon flushing command gnome keyring daemon dash r dash d Semicolon, it will ask again. There we go. And that is how easy it is to reconfigure your system so that it always asks for the root password on what some may consider maybe not dangerous, but but easy to mess up use of those two right-click commands. Again, MX17, what's new video coming soon? Stay tuned. For tips, tricks, how-tos, head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at forms.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great night.